uh, touring musicians, uh, original music, brand new music, big bands, small groups, solo acts, all sorts of stuff. Check out the schedule and support uh, what we're doing. Um, and we're using it as a fundraising opportunity as well. So if you want to support the Bob Stop and all the work that we do here in the community, uh, supporting the local music community, uh, then hit me up, let me know, uh, and I'll be more than happy to point you in a direction uh, to, uh, to offer some support. Uh, but the biggest way to support what we do here is just to buy a ticket and come to a show, uh, or come to our free events. Um, so tell a friend and come back, bring your friends, and uh, pick a show. Uh, we've got something every month for everybody. Uh, so take a look at our schedule, see what we've got going on, uh, and yeah, we look forward to seeing you all again very soon. And the last thing, uh, before we get started with the music, uh, we do have to thank our 2024 Bob Stop sponsors because they uh, have gone above and beyond to help us uh, keep the lights on and keep the music going here. So please uh, help me in uh, thanking uh, the Minot family, RPM, and Tri-C for their support of the Bob Stop. So, thank you all so much for being here. As I mentioned, uh, today is uh, our final uh, National Hispanic Heritage Month showcase. Uh, we've got a couple of others uh, earlier uh, in the past month um, that have been really fantastic. And uh, Ricardo actually approached me, I think it was almost about a year ago, uh, to say, hey, I wanna, I wanna do this next year. And, uh, so I'm really happy. Uh, to not only be playing up here, but to be able to host music uh, of this kind uh, that really showcases uh, some really fine Latin American music uh, that, uh, that you may or may not be familiar with. So uh, please welcome to the stage, uh, Ricardo Morales Vivero.
whether that's Peguche, which was an Ecuadorian tune, or one of my originals, or just the standard. He sounds great on all of them. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, take a little break. Uh, next song we have is Kimei Neuquén by Jose Larralde, and I believe that this is a Uruguayan uh, composer, singer-songwriter, so you can fact-check me on that, but <laughs> I think that's right. And funny enough, the first time I heard the song was actually on Breaking Bad, which I think has a great soundtrack. Uh, but I looked it up, I was doing some digging, and I think that uh, it's just you know, a cool song that once again presents a little bit more of the folk singer songwriter uh, influence in Latin America that's still very close to the uh, musical traditions of uh, the native people that were there before colonization and that sadly a lot of it has been uh, wiped out and was not preserved properly but there's been a long tradition of uh, passing uh, some of these uh, musical genres through songs such as this one where people have preserved it and brought it back in uh, many times like a, almost like a protest uh, song sort of way so in the vein of all of that that's Kime Nuken
guests on stage now. We're going to have Grace join us on vocals, Grace Blackford. His next song is called Anelos, which is a pasillo, a traditional rhythm from Ecuador as well, and it's sort of a waltz variation. And yeah, I hope people at home are watching and enjoying this one.
Jeff Cruz and Grace Blackford on vocal. Yeah. We have Ronel Rikus and Brian Kennard on the horns. Yeah. Anthony Cadell on the slide guitar. Yeah. And then we have Taylor Arbogast on bass. Yeah. Anthony Cadell on drums. My name is Ricardo Morales Cadell. Uh, we will be back in just a moment. We'll take a quick break. Yeah. Oh. Anthony Papaleo. <laughs> I'm not used to having two Anthony's up there, but I like it, so I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to really work on that. <laughs>
group Alabuara on YouTube. If you don't know Alabuara, you should check it out. Anthony is uh, great at going to the source material, in his case Italian folk music, and making some really cool arrangements for a group of maybe jazz players, but uh, the, the backgrounds of the people playing and what he was saying in the video is that they are not traditional folk musicians, but they are approaching the music with a lot of love and respect and they are trying to present it, uh, you know, to their audience and in a way that is like authentic to it, but also to themselves. And I want to convey the same thing with this program tonight. And uh, I think that he put it great. So go check out his music too. Uh, now
It was released about a year ago here at the Bob Stop too, so it's yeah. 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 Love this place. This song is called Corazón de la Torre and it's by an Argentinian rock band, uh, Soda Stereo. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. All we have. Thanks for coming, and uh, if you want any CDs, I'll be out there signing or selling whichever you prefer. Thank you.